Do you got another question, Dan? Chris is um, Chris has asked for some weird advice, and he's actually labelled his own question nonced or not nonced. Uh, that is the question. He says, Chris says, I was talking to my missus the other day and the subject came up about ex-partners, etc. Not exactly the greatest conversation to have, but hey-ho. I can casually mention that I got with my babysitter when I was 11. She was sort of 16 or 17 at the time. <laughs> pretty, <laughs> pretty fit, at least to an... Who's, it, it, what, what's, that, what's this fella's name again? It's a J. Cartwright. <laughs> Chris. Okay, cool. Good. Because right. it just might have been a lad that me and Carl know. <laughs> And we would basically get off with each other, a bit of touching, but not full sex. Now, my missus looked at me shocked and said, you do realise you've been nonced. I looked back and said, no, I didn't, because I enjoyed it. and It was good. After discussions with a few mates, they're on my side. One of them, we'll call him Gooey, even asked for a number, <laughs> said it would have been great to have been in Don't that situation. Uh, Pete, do we, let's just stop this. Gooey, what kind of fucking psycho are you that you were like, yeah, when was this? 10 years ago. Nice one. You're 21. And then you're ringing a 28-year-old going, you're right, my name's Gooey. Do you like kissing 11-year-olds? Um, so my question to you guys is, was I nonced or not? Thanks yes, you were. Yeah, legally. And Just because you were happy about it doesn't mean it wasn't a bad thing. Like, And also, like, I'm sorry, but he's lying. <laughs> it's Jake Hart, right? It, this oh. is such a classic thing for a 21-year-old to rise into his I don't, no, I'm not, I'm not. I don't know if he's 21, I just guessed. Like he's oh yeah, when I was eleven I fucked the babies, isn't that it's possible. It, it's just such a classic lad lie. I don't it's not possible. It is possible. It isn't why no would he lie? seventeen year old why why isn't it why For is, social status to get wouldn't you love to be able to say you fucked the babysitter when you were eleven? <laughs> I die for I, that. I get I get I get the thought, but why as an adult are you talking to your girlfriend and just honestly Going, oh, yeah, he's letting her know he's got options. What, what, what as a time traveling 11 year old? <laughs> yeah. I don't see where the brag is. There's no brag. Like, I think he's, he's like, I've been fucking since day dot love. So fucking watch yourself. Right, they didn't fuck. <laughs> they just snogged. Oh, well, that's, I think it, it was happened, explained then. in the thing. I love it how you two cunts can't listen. You're like, <laughs> he's, he's definitely like, what? <laughs> I don't see where the, li why it's a lie. I, I just, I, I think it's, my natural instinct is to call bullshit on that because it's I. Th there's we know somebody who who has said stuff like this. Yeah, but when, it, when he it. was eleven, no, but he's always been like this. No, it, but I mean, I get it. If you're eleven and you're making the, if you're doing the lie, but I just feel like this is an honest adult sort of like. Yeah, that probably is with the kiss. It's probably true. I think he was like. Well, what happened to you, mate? Oh my god! He disappeared on a night out once and come back and told that he just fingered the girl on the dance floor, but he put a Johnny on his fingers. <laughs> In meat, the old night. Is he called Gooey? No. <laughs> um, he once um, volleyed a mop bucket through a 14th floor window and shouted Gerard as he did it. Yeah. And that's the story he told you after the fact? No, I was there. All oh, right, okay. And he once spent a long time really, really revising for his, was it his GCSEs or A-levels? A-levels. Really revising. Like, but he was embarrassed that he was being a bit of a nerd. So he told us he'd been on a kickboxing <laughs> camp in Thailand. <laughs> No, for he, a went, month. he went, oh, well, boys, I'm going to Thailand, doing a bit of, you know, jujitsu training. Going to be about a month. I mean, right, yeah, that's yeah. hard, isn't it? Came back, not, there's not one photograph of this man in Thailand. But he's got a tattoo on his belly, and that was how he sold the lie. Yeah. Right. Like, praying hands tattooed on his belly. He was like, I got that in Thailand, lad. Right. But he'd just been revising his A-levels for two weeks. <laughs> what an amazing fucking bullshitter. He's a fantastic friend to just have around for. He once kicked a woman up the arse, a girl, because we were in a nightclub. <laughs> um, to flirt with her and when she was like what are you doing he went a lesbian right it doesn't sound that fantastic um, yeah so is he just a bullshitter or is yeah. he or is he just a nutcase he's both your mate I'll tell you what here's, here's the thing right? he's either a bullshitter or he went to Thailand for a month to do a kickboxing camp and never took a single oh no 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 yeah sorry yeah that's definitely bullshit both right uh, going back to Chris just in case you aren't lying. I don't really see why you would. And you definitely got nonced. Yeah, you did get nonced. That's a hundred percent nonsense. And you liked it. And I reckon if I if I was in his situation, I'd tell that story fondly. I think. But that doesn't mean it's not wrong. Oh, it's definitely wrong. 
Yeah. It's awful. It's awful. It's awful. It's 11 nonsense. years old. Yeah. 11. It's disgusting. It's a baby. Because if it was the other way around, yeah. you would like, this is the, the beautiful contradiction of being a lad in it. Yeah. Because it's, it's an 11-year-old lad and a 16, 17-year-old girl. Everyone's like, bloody hell. That's bad. Players going to play. Fucking wish it was me, though. <laughs> nice. Nice. Yeah, but, she's a- but if it was the other way around, you'd, you'd want to string them up. Yeah. yeah. So... But Awful. we've we've called bullshit on you, mate. Sorry.